phones, but we're going to have a very exciting session because we're going to see what the candidates to the board have to say. Essentially, I want to welcome you, everybody who is here with me on site, but also quite a number of people are connecting uh, online. I myself, I'm Darushi Milnek, I'm on the board of trustees, I'm chairing the governance committee and after about 10 years on this board I will be stepping down, so I need to make space. Obviously, since I'm so awesome, only four people can replace me, no, just kidding. It's, uh, uh, but four seats are available and four people are running, 12 candidates for those four seats. Please do remember that uh, this session is of course within the purview of the Universal Code of Conduct. Friendly space policy as well, so, uh, you know, you need to respect other people, right? I mean, and if you want to insult someone, well, think again. Don't, don't. The selection process is happening this year. The foundation is uh, selecting new trustees. As you know, and as a reminder, it's the board who selects the trustees from those who are nominated by the community. So it's an election process. So far, never in history have we not chosen what the community has proposed, but technically the board makes this decision. So it's, in theory, it's possible that, that it won. As I said already, 12 people are running, there are four seats, so it's, it's pretty exciting. Uh, elections Committee and the Board Selection Working Group uh, want to offer this opportunity to all candidates essentially to show what they want to say, to give them a platform to share, because we want you to make an informed decision. Right? It, it's important that you make a decision based on merit, not on anything else. So they will be able to share why they are the right person for the job, uh, what they're bringing to the board, what skills, what, what different views that the uh, board is missing. Obviously, uh, we want you to be able to make an informed decision about all 12 candidates. Unfortunately, not all of them are with us together. I encourage you, first of all, to each, each, read each candidate's statement on Meta. This is important. They put a lot of information there. Uh, you can also read answers to the community questions on Meta, which is, again, very important because the community can ask questions and uh, answers follow. And for the people who are not with us here, we do have video recordings of them, which we are going to play. Uh, I know it's not ideal. But this is the way it is. Feel free to reach out to any of the candidates on Meta or in person so that you can follow up with whatever questions you might have. Unfortunately, we will not be having a questions and answers session following up this session here for practical reasons and also for, for the process reasons. It wouldn't be necessarily you know, uh, fair and square. And speaking of fair and square, uh, one thing is really important. And I want to share this about myself with you, I'm a professor, okay. which means that I will really be strict about time. You will get three minutes, and three minutes only, when the time passes, I'm going to intervene, voice over you, and maybe throw you off the stage or something like this. I, I'm also a black belt in Krav Maga, so you know, keep, keep that in mind. But essentially, oh, I see thumbs up, okay, <laughs> we'll, we'll see, we'll see, you know, we'll see how the situation develops. But uh, this is important for fairness reasons. It's up to you to, to use this three minutes, it's fine if you use one. But if you go one second beyond, it's not fair, because you're stealing from those 11 candidates. So don't steal, be a good person, don't do that. Do not exceed three minutes. I will, you know what, I will do that. At ignoble prizes, we have this uh, tradition. When somebody exceeds their lecture time, a little girl comes with a microphone and keeps repeating, please stop, I'm bored. <laughs> okay? Bored, bored, you know, it works. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to approach you and start saying, please stop, I'm bored, until you go away the walk of shame. Now, uh, there's no fair way to do this in terms of order. We're only going to do the, the least unfair, which is alphabetical order. This is the way it is. We're going to use an alphabetical order of candidates. Uh, if you don't like it, if your name starts with Z, well, too bad for you. Uh, sorry, sorry, Vicky. Uh, that's the way it is. Now, uh, the candidates are going to uh, come up. Hopefully, their slides are ready. And without further ado, any questions about the process? No, nothing. I don't see any. So, uh, 
yeah, I think, unfortunately, with huge, huge resentment, I have to stop talking and uh, give the floor to the candidates. And the first one to talk is Bobby. Uh, you're up. <laughs> Just one. You will see. You will see. The they will see the timer, so they, will, they hopefully will know how the time passes. And whenever you're ready, go ahead and start. Sure. Morning, colleagues. I feel rush. So, okay. Next. So, my name is Bobby Shabangu, as you can see, uh, from South Africa. Um, who I, who <coughs> am I? Okay, my name is Bobby Shabangu. I am from Johannesburg, South Africa. Uh, it's very important for me to mention that I made my first edit in 2012. I joined the uh, week. Key Media South Africa chapter uh, the following year, and now I am the president of Wikimedia South Africa. I also chair the WISCOM, which is the Wiki Indaba Steering Committee. It is a committee that organizes the Wiki Indaba Conference. Uh, why am I running for the Board of Trustees? Well, I believe that I bring an extensive experience in the Wikimedia movement, particularly in promoting underrepresented content and small languages from the African community. And I believe um, this makes me understand the challenges and opportunities for small language communities in the African, in the African continent as well as you know, around the world. And I also have been involved in key and strategic movement conversation, e.g. the movement uh, charter, the APP 20, 2030 movement strategy. And I believe that that makes me an ideal candidate to run for the board. Well, what is my value proposition? What, what am I bringing to the board? Well, I bring a strong voice for the underrepresented communities, uh, ensuring that the foundation's global initiative are um, inclusive and equitable. That's very, very, very much important. And having and coming from a diverse community like South Africa, where we have a lot of languages that are different, we have different races. Also, coming from the African continent, which has thousands upon thousands of languages and tribes that are very, very much different, I believe that I will help the Wikimedia Foundation navigate complex issues while remaining true to the core to its core values. You know, the core values, colleagues. We need to be open. We need to be welcoming, inclusive. We need to have a diverse community. I'm not going to waste my time there. And to drive efforts towards a more inclusive and globally representative, representative uh, knowledge ecosystem. We really, really, really need to have an inclusive knowledge ecosystem, colleagues. Amplify the in impact of Wikimedia projects worldwide, particularly in the regions that have historically been underrepresented. I see my time is running out. And thank you so much. My presentation. <laughs> Thank you so much. Crystal, you're up next. And thank you, Bobby, for keeping the limit. Uh, Crystal, uh, we, you're up whenever you're ready. The slides should be also. Uh, forward, backward. So, running for the Board of Trustees, another candidate, Crystal Steigenberger, but most of you know me as Kritzelina. My main perspectives that I will bring to the board are the one of an editor and former admin from the German language Wikipedia. So a big one, not one of the small ones. But I have extensive experience also as being on such a big um, Wikipedia, someone who is not the most biggest um, group of editors as a woman. I'm also part of one of the groups where we want more women to join the movement. I switched a bit my perspective and started to edit another project more than the German language Wikipedia where I started in 2014. Um, in the recent years, I'm more active in Commons where I'm also an administrator. Together um, on both wikis and on Wikidata and on some other wikis, I have my 104,000 something edits at the moment. But I've also some experience with helping organize e events like I'm on the international team of Wiki Loves Folklore. I'm part of the German Femnets, where I'm not mostly an organizer, but yeah. And I've done a number of event organizing support. 
not in this role, not from my main perspective as an editor. I'm here as a volunteer today, but I was a Wikimedia Foundation staff for six years. And so I've seen a different side of what it means, well, to be part of this movement, but also I've seen a different side of what the board actually impacts within the movement. And I think that will help me once I'm on the board to be a good board member. My main strength, I put it somewhere on my candidate's statement that if there is a problem, how will I solve that? I have patience. But I love this movement and there is a lot of joy that I get from being in this movement. I love this movement. I love people. And I'm always curious. I think that's one of the most important traits for Wikipedians, to be curious, to want to learn, to want to learn more. And a bit of creativity that will help us find new ways to solve the old problems. And not in the least, I'm human. I make mistakes. I understand other humans make mistakes. And I think being human on the board is something that is very much needed because often we look for the effectivity, for the hard work. But I'm human. And human as you are, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Very, I'm sorry about that, but I warned you. Uh, we have a recording from Dion coming up next. I'm wondering who's in charge, but well, hi to Dion if he's watching. Hi there, I'm Dion Stein from South Africa, residing in the Telco Krugerdorp close to Johannesburg. I've registered as a member of an Afrikaans Wikipedia on January 6, 2009. Since then, I have created more than 67 articles and done more than 200,000 edits on Afrikaans Wikipedia. Since 2014, I've served on the Wikimedia ZTA board representing Afrikaans. The Afrikaans Wikipedia is currently ranked 69th out of 331 language Wikipedias and is the biggest in Africa. Why am I still active on Wikipedia? Being married to a school teacher, I quickly discovered that a properly set up Wikipedia is an unbelievable tool to assist children, teachers and parents in the education process of children, especially high school children. The cost of printed books, textbooks are running through the roof and frankly I think the days of printed textbooks are numbered. The cost of commercially printed books, uh, e.g. for birds, fl uh, flora, fauna, are escalating at an unbelievable rate. The impact that printed books have on the environment is huge. And things in terms of plantations, influence on the habitats of natural vegetation, uh, recycling, etc. One temperate change by, by a botanist and the printed book is obsolete overnight. The use of mobile phones and access to Wikipedia eradicate these, these, these issues. I have electrical and a financial background and have finished my uh, uh, career as a project manager. Now, why do I want to become a trustee? While well, having this experience as management in management and project management, uh, I know that managers never work. They actually just plan, lead, organize and control, which I enjoy tremendously. I'm a naturally curious person, especially to see what makes Wikipedia tick. I believe I can offer a lot of knowledge and experience to the Wikimedia environment. The one thing that I've learned in the past 10 years, what works for the big Wikipedia blocks, that is the US and Europe, does not necessarily work in smaller language Wikipedias. The other side of the coin is, the big blocks doesn't always understand smaller language Wikipedias, uh, their problems, examples, IT skills to change and update templates. My other aim is to make sure that everybody understands the core business of the foundation. Ask anybody about the core business of the foundation and the answer as follows, online encyclopedia, what are we? Having said all that, I'm positive with all my experience uh, managing people, staff, big projects, that I can make a difference for the next four years. I'm looking forward to working with all the other language Wikipedias. Thank you. And without further ado, another video from Eric. Hi, my name is Eric Hanberg. I live in Tacoma, Washington in the United States, and I'm running for the Wikimedia Foundation Board of Trustees. I believe passionately in the mission of the organization and of Wikipedia and all of its related projects. I want to bring my background in nonprofit service to the board. 
to my mind, Wikipedia is one of the key innovations of the century. And I want to make sure that it and the associated projects exist long into the future. I have a background, as I mentioned, in nonprofit work, especially governance. My work has included leading nonprofits, including in the arts and civics, as well as working, for example, at a nonprofit news organization. I've also sat on more than a dozen different boards and committees for nonprofits of various sizes. And while it's not exactly the same thing, I did spend 12 years in public service as an elected official here in my hometown of Tacoma. It was a government board and uh, it had a $50 million annual budget. I think I have a lot of experience in good governance and I want to bring that background and that expertise to the board. I've also written four books for nonprofits, including one on board governance. And it's thanks to that that I have been blessed with the opportunity to work with organizations around the country and in some cases around the world. Again, that's another set of expertise and experiences that I can bring to this board. I believe that there are ways that a board can maintain its fiduciary and legal responsibilities while still being responsive to its key stakeholders, its donors, its users, and of course, in the case of Wikipedia and Wikimedia, its editors. And I wanna bring those insights and those ideas to the board. I hope that I've already met some of you at Wikimania. I look forward to meeting more of you online. Thank you for your consideration and I hope I can earn your vote. Thanks so much. Uh, thank you indeed, and Farah, you're next. My name is uh, Farah Jack Mustaklim. I'm a Palestinian Wikimedian, and I'm a free knowledge. Uh, I'm a free knowledge advocate, and I am a software engineer by profession. A father of three wonderful children, and uh, I advise uh, a few um, uh, nonprofits in the digital rights. So I joined uh, the Wikimedia movement in 2005, uh, starting out as an editor on Arabic and English Wikipedias. And then I added some, some photos to Commons and, and got involved in, in, in the different, uh, different online projects. I am also a co-founder of the Wikimedians of the Levant User Group. And currently, I'm a member of the board of, uh, of directors of that, uh, of that user group. Um, I've also uh, run workshops and uh, Wikipedia education program in Palestine um, to try to increase the the, the, the user base of, uh, of Wikipedia and other projects. And I am on the regional grants committee right now and have served on several Wikimedia uh, committees in the past. Um, yeah, I've, I've also done some work on the on the Arabic uh, language hub, regional hub. I don't have my glasses on. Uh, and yeah, so so the reasons I'm running, um, one, one of the reasons is uh, to increase the diversity of the board and to bring some underrepresented underrepresented perspectives uh, to the board. Uh, but, but aside from that, um, I also think that the the board should really um, spearhead the the effort to to work on a new charter um, building upon all the the work that's been done over the past few years and uh, yeah I believe that the, the the board has the responsibility to 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 push that effort in consultation with the uh, with the community um, another reason is that I believe that the the, the foundation has a responsibility to combat misinformation and disinformation because the uh, Wikipedia and the other projects are, are so widespread and, and the, uh, uh, the information is read by so many people. So it's incumbent on us to, uh, to limit the spread of disinformation, whether it's created by AI, generative AI, which is on the rise, or whether it's meddling by governments and the media. 
finally, uh, we're not a human rights organization, but knowledge is a human right. So we should join an alliances and have clear values on human rights that are shared by all of us. Thank you all. Good timing, good timing. Uh, all right, uh, Lane. How do you do? My name is Lane Raspberry. I'm user of Blue Raspberry and Wikimedia Projects. I'm going to, going to talk about my positions as candidate for trustee. I'm going to say something about my background and I'm going to ask for your support. My positions are that the Wikimedia Foundation should divest more authority to the Wikimedia community. Uh, we should talk about budget transparency and the funding to the Wikimedia community and we need more partnerships with universities. We just went through a movement charter ratification process. The community supported this. Uh, the Wikimedia Foundation opposed this. This would have defined roles and responsibilities in the Wikimedia movement. Because we don't have this charter ratified, the foundation is fearful of seeking feedback from the Wiki community, and the community is fearful to give this to the foundation. The community needs to speak for itself. The easiest way that we can give the community its independence and its voice is to better fund it. By my own estimate, about 3% of the movement funds go to projects which the community enthusiastically consents to. Again, we need budget transparency. And we also need funding to go to increase governance from groups like uh, people who are not members of affiliates and then the 99% the of community members who are readers who don't even get satisfaction service at this time. To mediate these relationships between the community and the foundation, we need university partnerships. That's where the expertise in getting user, user feedback is. Uh, they can guide our relationship and give us uh, clear, clear knowledge and understanding and be a third party neutral mediator. Universities are also the route by means of which we can partner with community tech organizations that are essential to our movement and that currently aren't represented enough. I'm talking about inter Internet Archive, uh, OpenStreetMap, and similar. Uh, about me, my background, I've been a professional Wikipedian for 12 years. Uh, my funding has not come from the Wikimedia Foundation. I've independently raised it. Um, right now, I'm at the University of Virginia in their School of Data Science doing AI projects. I'm also the founder of Wikimedia Medicine and Wikimedia LGBT, and I've organized hundreds of in-person Wikimedia meetups throughout the United States, especially with uh, Wikimedia in New York City. Off Wiki, uh, I am a data scientist. I advocate for all things open, open data, open access, open science, open source software. I'm an LGBT rights advocate. I've been a consumer advocate in the United States for many years. My background is in, in medical research and I'm a labor union organizer. I'm here supported by my uh, biggest fan, uh, Fabian Garcia, uh, whom I recently married. And he's also a Wikipedian. I do everything with him and have these conversations with him. I'm asking you for your support. Please tell your friends to vote for me. Vote for me with your friends. If you want to talk about any aspect of Wikimedia community policy, whether I'm elected or not, you can do that with me. I especially publish through the Wikipedia signpost, which is Wikimedia's community newsletter. And if you're at a community organization, a university or a Wikimedia affiliated organization, and you want to talk research partnerships, this is what I do. Contact me anytime. Thank you very much. I'm Lane Blue Raspberry on Wikipedia. Uh, all right, Lorenzo. Um, thank you. I'm Lorenzo, username uh, Laurentius. I'm uh, a current member of the Board of Trustees as a Vice Chair and running again uh, for uh, another term. I've been uh, here for uh, most of my life. I made my first edit uh, in 2004, um, and since then I've been uh, making myself uh, useful in different ways, of course contributing online, organizing uh, uh, events, Wikilos Monuments, advocacy work. I've been uh, chair of Wikimedia Italy, and again, I, as, uh, as of now, uh, Vice Chair of the Board of Trustees uh, and uh, Chair of the Product and Technology Committee. Um, I like to think uh, in terms of uh, values uh, and uh, I will go back to uh, one of the uh, values that are listed in the value statement, in the first value statement of uh, the Wikimedia Foundation, uh, which is uh, our communities are our biggest asset. 
that was said many years ago, but it's still true. It's uh, what uh, uh, enabled us su to succeed, our uh, main uh, defining aspect. But I would also look at uh, one of the current uh, um, values in the list, uh, which is we are in this mission together. Um, I think this is also very true, and we need to um, remember and remind ourselves uh, that uh, we are here uh, for the same reason, and uh, uh, that we need to talk to each other, uh, listen to each other, even when we disagree, especially when we disagree, because disagreeing is healthy, is how we make uh, progress. Looking forward, uh, uh, we have uh, lots of challenges uh, in front of us. Uh, let it be artificial intelligence, uh, um, changes in demographics. I don't know. I know that uh, it's uh, uh, something... I mean, we see that uh, we are not getting as many editors, as many visitors, uh, as, ma as much money as in the past. I don't know how to... I mean, what the future uh, holds. But I know that we need to um, work on that, uh, uh, leveraging on our uh, strengths, the community, and uh, working together. And well, I'm here at Wikimania. For those of you that are here, please uh, talk to me. If you are not here, you can find me in the, on the channel that uh, you like the most. Thank you. And see you around. And you don't have to take the microphone for me. Ah, damned! Just hoping for it. Well, Machi, you're up next. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Maciej and I'm your candidate for the Wikimedia Foundation Board of Trustees elections this year. Today I have for you two questions and many answers. Who am I and why you should support me? Wikidata would tell you that I'm an activist and a Wikimedian, but it doesn't tell you much. You can see that I have degrees in management, international economics and social impact from Utrecht University, University of Warsaw. I've run my own NGO for five years and now I'm an expert at the Polish Ministry of Digital Affairs. But this still doesn't answer your question. Who am I and why you should support me? I'm an active Wikimedia editor. I made over 140,000 edits globally for the last eight years. I've done over 3,000 admin actions. I protect small wikis from vandalism through the small wiki monitoring team. And I have completed 110 Wikimedia articles in 10 days, completing the Wikidays challenge. I have also edited over 55 of all currently open Wikimedia projects. I'm an active organizer. I have been on the governance board of Wikimedia Poland, first responsible for education and higher uh, learning, then operations. I'm a co-founder of Wikimedia Europe and its youngest board member. Last year, I joined affiliations committee to try to help and fix it from the inside. And I work on Let's Connect to increase the capacity in the developing communities. Over the eight years in the movement and a hard and affiliate community work, I've learned one thing. The volunteers must come first. We should treat volunteer time and energy as a finite resource, and we should make a good use of it. Why will I make a good board member? Why you should support me? I understand the technical issues in the Wikimedia movement. I meet them, as do you, and I will work hard and to support devoting resources to resolving all of them. I will work on making the board accountable and more open to community scrutiny. I have a proven record of effectiveness and a proven record of transparency. I decided to answer all of the questions I asked the community this year, not only the five selected by the elections committee. And you can see that I can do big stuff happen. I am privileged to have met many community members from multiple countries, both during very joyous occasions, but also during very difficult ones. I had a chance to celebrate with you, to be formal with you, to discuss, engage, exchange ideas, and I have been proudly presenting Wikimedia values outside at industry conferences as an expert at the Polish parliament, influencing the policy process. I have been there with you for the past years, and I promise that if elected, I will still be with you, talking with you, and working together with all of you to further our mission. Thank you all very much. Don't forget to vote. My name is Maciej Nadzikiewicz. I'm Mr. Nadzik. 
please reach out to me if you have any questions. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Machi. And now we have a recording from Mohammed. Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Mohammed Awad Al Hassan. My username on all Wikimedia projects is Al Hassan Mohammed Awad. I am from Ghana and I am an educationist, a digital language activist. The Ghana language experts, child rights advocates, and girl child education advocates. I have passion for volunteering, and it has always, as a digital language activist, it was always my dream, and I've always wanted to support indigenous communities and its people to document their stories, cultures, and traditions on the internet space. So when I got to learn about Wikimedia Foundation and its projects, and I went to read about the mission and realized that it was all about creating and sharing knowledge freely for everyone in the world, I couldn't just help but to just jump on and created my user account and started contributing to the various Wikimedia projects such as Wikipedia, Wikidata, Wikimedia Commons, Wiktionary. I recruit and train others to also contribute in these projects since 2020. And I am one of the Wikimedia Board of Trustees candidates hoping to scale up my voluntary activities and to demonstrate that Wikimedia Foundation has a place for everyone in the world. I am very optimistic that when I'm given the chance, I am going to have significant contributions to the board. I haven't served in different committees in the Ghana education system for over 15 years now. I've gained some experience that could be useful to the board when given the chance. I wish I could meet all of you in person in the Wikimania, but nonetheless, once I am not able to be with you in person, I will definitely meet all of you online. And I thank all of you for considering my candidacy and I hope that I will be given the chance to prove to the board what I have to offer. Thank you. And Rose, you're up next. I'm watching the time. Oh, sorry. Great, thanks. That's even better. Hi, everyone. I'm Rosie Stevenson Goodnight, and I'm here to talk to you about my candidacy for a second term on the Wikimedia Foundation Board of Trustees. I live in Eastern California, USA, down a half-mile gravel road in the forests of the Sierra Nevada Mountains. I bring the perspective of a 70-year-old grandmother. My first language was Serbian, my household language. My parents started teaching us English when I was three. I'm also mildly proficient in Spanish and French, which I studied in school. My background, education, and professional experience can be found on the candidate statement, but here it is in brief. I hold a master, an MBA master's degree with a specialty in strategic planning. I started editing English Wikipedia on June 4th, 2007, when I looked for something 
didn't find it there, had this realization that Wikipedia did not have an article about everything. And I realized that since my son, who had been a Peace Corps volunteer in Ukraine, had learned how to edit Wikipedia sitting in his little apartment, well, if he could figure it out, I could figure it out too, and so I did. I've created more than 5,000 new articles, of which more than 2,200 are women's biographies. Um, I, my ranking in all sorts of different ways can be seen there, but I'm also proud of my contributions to Wikimedia Commons and to Wikidata. I am the biggest champion here of the affiliates. You can see that I served as the Vice President of Wikimedia District of Columbia for five years. I am the co-founder and current mentor of Wiki Women's User Group. Ruby, if you're here, hi. I am the co-founder and the ideator to have Wiki Conference North America User Group. I'm the co-founder of Wiki Cemeteries User Group. For six years, I've been an elected member of the Affiliations Committee, stepping back when I joined this board in 2021, and I served as chair the last two years. I'm the co-founder of the SWAN Network. The last oh, 12 years or so, I've been heavily involved in gender gap work. Not my background at all in terms of education or experience. When my daughter-in-law called me a fe feminist, I thought it was a pejorative at first. But I've come to learn who that is and what I am, and I'm proud of it. One of my proudest accomplishments is the development of a community called Women in Red. I believe in um, the... Uh, the movement strategy recommendations. I have received a few awards. This is some of them, and I thank you. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Tasrima, you're up next. Hello, everyone. My name is Taslima Tayab Karim. I'm the only candidate from Nigeria, and I'm the only female candidate from Africa. Why uh, Wikimedia Foundation Board of Trustees um, good in policy making? I want to represent Africa, Africa and other represent, uh, underrepresented region um, in Global South. We've never had any board member, so I'm bringing myself on board. Now I have new ideas and innovation. I'm very young. I am exposed. I I can do things and I can make things happen. So um, Wikimedia experience, I started from my grassroots. I started with editing. I didn't jump any step. I started. Then events organizer, I've been organizing events in my country involving people, young ones, despite that I didn't really hold any position in my country. But if you go to my country, you would know me. So I'm a board member for Wiki Project Medicine, as my career is, I study the high. So I'm very good in that aspect. Um, other leadership experience, I'm the first female president in my country for the, my indigenous association, that's National Association of Ondo State Students in the Lawrence chapter. I'm an ambassador for Tier Ward, United States. I volunteer a lot, so. Then I'm a welfare director for the our Youth General Assembly. That's in my local community. I'm the welfare director. And the first time I'm joining this organization is when I was made the welfare director. Same for this um, on those days association. My first meeting was me as a vice president then. Afterward, the president then. I'm a two-time president before I hand over. Just two days before I came here. So I'm a founder of Mira Site Foundation. Like I said, I studied the high for six years. Then I'm the founder for that organization. While in school, I've been carrying out outreaches and they, they are more to go after. Skill sets. I involve in community. I have good listening skill. I have working team. Uniqueness. I'm young. I'm passionate. I'm energetic. I'm versatile. I can sing. I learn languages. <laughs> I learn languages. I can cook. I... I'm, I'm everywhere. Um, thank you for listening to me. My name is, uh, you can find me on abdetesi at gmail.com. Thank you very much. And the final presentation, Victoria. Hello, my name is Victoria Doronina. 
I am from Belarus, uh, which is a dictatorship between uh, Poland and Russia. I have a PhD from Edinburgh University and I work at Manchester Metropolitan University. I registered in 2006 and made 91,000 edits across several projects. I was the second woman to be elected uh, an admin in Russian Wikipedia and I served twice on the Russian Arbitration Committee. At the moment, I'm electing good and featured articles and lists, and I steer Russian, uh, did you know? I was elected to the Board of Trustees in 2021. So, on the board, I'm the member of the board committees, community affairs, as well as product and technology. What did I do in the last three years? I helped to select possibly the best CTO we ever had, Selena uh, Dekelman. I helped to change the rules of selecting the board, selecting trustees, making them more accountable and closer to the community. You've seen some of them around. I developed the procedure for opening uh, new Wikimedia projects. I championed diversity on the board and moved election of the committee from selection to election. I voted against the, ch the charter. Why? Because uh, according to that charter, the global council was supposed to have up to uh, 100 members. This is too many. And also amendments to the charter were made only in extraordinary circumstances. So it was vague in some places and too concrete in the others and it was baked in. I support a charter, but with clear purpose, there was no purpose stated for the charter that we voted for. Nimble, effective, oriented on problem solving, community driven, and upkeeping the direct community vote, not delegating it to anybody. Why vote for me? I am not from the global north. I have experience of censorship and dictatorship. I support the continuation of the work on the charter. I want to continue working on the sister project, help technical council, and uh, face global challenges. That means that we need experienced people on the board. And I speak up even if it costs me. Victoria Dorunina, go to the bottom of the list and vote for me. Good timing. All right, this has been the show. Just a couple of reminders. Uh, first of all, read more about the candidates on their meta pages. It's definitely worthwhile. Uh, uh, the next steps, voting launches on September 3rd. It closes on September 17th. The results will be known sometime in October, uh, maybe sooner. Uh, and this is pretty much it. I mean, if you do not vote, you know, go be, be there or be square. I mean, you, you need to do that, right? Re remind other people to vote. And finally, uh, as a wrap up, I want to thank every single candidate who's running. Four will be, yeah. Way too often we think of people who are running as only those who get elected. But the process itself, the fact that somebody puts their name forward, takes the courage. It's super important. And I want to appreciate this. Thank you so much. Even if you do not get elected, you will stay in the womb, and I hope. And uh, yeah, this is the way it should be. Uh, recordings will be available uh, when Wikimania organizers make it available. Uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much. Uh, have a good Wikimania. I need to, sorry, I need to take a photo, a group photo of the candidates. So can I ask all the candidates to stand up here?